What's up? Hey, we're here to ask you 21 questions. Awesome, let's do it. All right, how are you doing today? Doing really good. I see you're working on something there. You mind telling us what it is? I'm making a bumper video for Pastor's new series coming out in September, so hopefully you didn't see too much. Come on. What's your favorite kind of coffee shop? Favorite kind of coffee shop? A good one. Uh, no, I like I like coffee in general, so I worked at Caribou Coffee back in college, and my favorite drink was a white chocolate mocha with a half shot of hazelnut. Wow, that sounds good. Mm, so nice. I heard you're into woodworking. Do you make any furniture in your office? I do. I make quite a lot of furniture. I made this, made those floating shelves, um, made table, made all this stuff. And actually I made this uh, bookshop as well. And so, yeah. Pizza or tacos? Uh, pizza, 100% all day pizza. And what would be the ultimate place to take a vacation? I would say Orlando, um, Disney. Is that where you met your wife, Carly? Mm, no, we met at an apple orchard, in, actually in Minneapolis, actually to be specific, it was Minnetonka Orchards. <laughs> and what is your favorite movie? That's a tough one, but one of my favorites of all time is Dumb and Dumber. What is your favorite mission trip that you've been on? I've been on a lot of mission trips, but probably one of my favorites of all time would have to be um, the, I took a trip with some students to Vietnam, and so that was a really cool experience. That was a 24 hour flight, and so that was crazy. Speaking of students, I heard you take your students to a youth co convention in La Crosse. What types of things do they get to do there? Uh, great question. Yeah, so that's coming up in October, and so if you are listening, you have students in that age, they can, you can get them signed up, but yeah, we stay at a hotel, um, and we bring tons of students to it, and there's about 2,000 students that gather from all over Wisconsin, and they uh, they have different activities. They have amazing uh, live worship team. They have an usually top of the line speakers, and so it's a great time for them to experience God, but also to connect with each other. There's like bubble ball competitions. There's basketball. There's dodgeball. Um, there's being downtown lacrosse is a cool area. So yeah, lots of things to do. Wow. So that's my that's my shameless plug. That's crazy. For, or, yeah, you can mention. You said that was in October? October. I, the dates will be on the screen right here. <laughs> <laughs> and what was your favorite type of sushi? Ooh, um, I like things that have, um, like, crab or shrimp kind of things. That I like. I, I sort of like the uncooked stuff, but the cooked stuff is just as good to me. But I like it when it has cream cheese. Could you show us a magic trick? I can, but actually that my cards are downstairs, so we'll have to go down there. So come with me. Well, in the meantime, what is the name? What is the name of your alter ego? Ooh, alter ego. Um, nemesis. <laughs> and how do you keep healthy, Kyle? Um. Well, I ride my bike a little bit, but I joined a gym, Planet Fitness, ten bucks a month. So you can't beat that. And what piece of advice would you have for any student in Catalyst? Ooh, good question. Love Jesus more than anything else. Um, have him be and get yourself into places and positions where you can encounter him on a regular basis. So what, what it looks like coming here on a Wednesday night, Sunday morning, uh, whatever you got to do in order to connect with Jesus. That's what I'd recommend. Do, do whatever it takes. And what piece of advice do you have for any parent or student of Catalyst? Ooh. Um... That's a really good question. I would say, um, repeat the question, sorry, one more time. Yeah, what piece of advice would you have for a parent of a student at Catalyst? A parent of a student at Catalyst. Get them here. Whatever, yeah, get them <laughs> here. Um, yeah, so that's my advice, get them here. How about that magic trick? Yes, all right, so here it is. Got a normal deck of cards, right? Well. But that's what every magician says, right? Um, so you have one job. Ready? Just don't pick this card. So I'm going to ruffle through. You're going to tell me to stop. And the goal is I'm going to go like this. And then as long as you don't pick the jack of spades, you will have won $7 million. So go ahead and tell me when you want me to stop. Stop. Right there. Yeah. Hey, oh, you lost. Just $7 million left on the table. So sorry about that. Relating to the harvest time office, 
what character would you be from The Office? Ooh, I think I'm a little bit Michael Scott-ish, um, so that's who I would say I'm a little bit like. <laughs> What's your middle name? Actually, my middle name is Kyle. Wait, Kyle? That's right. My, my mom wanted me to have the name Kyle. My dad wanted me to have the name David, and they compromised. And so my real name is David Kyle Root. I can prove it to you. Give me a second. I'm going to cover up my important information so you guys don't steal my identity. But, yeah. I don't know if you can... Yeah, so that's me. Can you see it? Wow, that's oh. awesome. Yeah, so I am... I've been lying to you the entire time. My name is David Kyle Rude. <laughs> and Kyle, last question for you. What is the toughest thing that you've ever had to go through? Ooh. Um, when I was 19 years old, uh, I was at college, and I got diagnosed with uh, cancer. And so that was definitely one of those very, very hard trying times. And so, But God did an amazing thing, and I got healed of it. I can tell you the whole story some other time. But yeah, that was probably the toughest time, toughest thing I've ever had to go through. Wow. Praise God. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Kyle. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Have a good one.